Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with repair and rehabilitation of structure. So the first question, which of the following are the victims of dampness? Option A, parapet wall. Option B, panel walls. Option C, shear walls. Option D, main walls. So the correct answer is option A, parapet walls. Next question, which of the following is the primary cause of dampness? Option A, faulty construction and bad workmanship. Option B, condensation. Option C, rising dampness. Option D, heavy rain showers. So the correct answer is option A, faulty construction and bad workmanship. Next question, presence of gutter near the building may create the dampness near the dash walls. Option A, inner walls. Option B, Panel walls, option C freestanding walls, option D external walls. So the correct answer is option D external walls. Next question, in which of the following treatment the waterproofing material are added to the construction material? Option A membrane damp proofing, option B surface treatment, option C integral treatment, option D cavity wall construction. So the correct answer is option C integral treatment. Next question, in which of the following treatment the joints in the brickwork or stonework are pointed? Option A, membrane damp proofing. Option B, surface treatment. Option C, integral treatment. Option D, cavity wall construction. So the correct answer is option B, surface treatment. Next question, in which of the following treatment the main walls in the building are saved by outer skin wall? Option A, membrane damp proofing. Option B, surface treatment. Option C, integral treatment. Option D, cavity wall construction. So the correct answer is option D, cavity wall construction. Next question, dash is provided in wall tops and parapets to avoid dampness. Option A, coping. Option B, slope. Option C, damp proof course. Option D, gutters. So the correct answer is option A, coping. Next question, dash falls are internal source of dampness. Option A, plumbing. Option B, cracking. Option C, orientation. Option D, isolation. So the correct answer is option A, plumbing. Next question, when the wall cavity is blocked, then it causes dash dampness. Option A, rising. Option B, penetration. Option C, internal. Option D, external. So the correct answer is option B, penetration. Next question, which of the following is the effect of rising dampness? Option A, condensation. Option B, rising dampness. Option C, patches on wall. Option D, crack formation. So the correct answer is option B, raising dampness. Next question, which of the following is the social effect of dampness? Option A, increase health risk. Option B, encourage mold growth. Option C, encourage dust mites. Option D, devolves property. So the correct answer is option D, devalues the property. Next question, which of the following is the physical effect of dampness? Option A, reduce comfort levels. Option B, increase occupant's level of distress. Option C, encourages insomnia. Option D, increase health risk. So the correct answer is option D, increase health risk. Next question, the removal of source of dampness comes under which of the following cause of damage to the material? Option A, Damage unlikely. Option B, action required. Option C, no action required. Option D, damage likely. So the correct answer is option B, action required. Next question, the permanent damage to the structure comes under which of the following cases of damage to the material? Option A, damage unlikely. Option B, action required. Option C, no action required. Option D, damage likely. So the correct answer is option D, damage likely. Next question, effect of low moisture in, temp in temper causes dash straining. Option A, dispersed. Option B, localized. Option C, permanent. Option D, temporary. So the correct answer is option B, localized. Next question, when clay brick and concrete blocks are affected by the high moisture content, then its result in dash training. Option A, dispersed. Option B, localized. Option C, widespread. Option D, temporary. So the correct answer is option C, widespread. 
Next question, the main effect when physical barrier is not present in the basement is option A, condensation, option B, rising dampness, option C, patches on the wall, option D, crack formation. So the correct answer is option B, rising dampness. Next question, which of the following is not the factor that affects the height of the rising dampness? Option A, rate of evaporation. Option B, pore size of the masonry. Option C, groundwater level and degree of saturation. Option D, height of the wall. So the correct answer is option D, height of the wall. Next question, rising dampness can be identified by option A, salt patches, option B, tidal mark strain, option C, cracks on the wall, option D, breakage on the wall. So the correct answer is option B, tidal mark strain. Next question, dash determines the effectiveness or the ineffectiveness of the DPC material. Option A, quality of DPC. Option B, pot life of DPC. Option C, self life of DPC. Option D, workmanship and installation. So the correct answer is option D, workmanship and installation. Next question, which of the following is used to measure the moisture content profile of the rising dampness? Option A, water meter. Option B, speedy moisture meter. Option C, strain causes. Option D, metallic devices. So the correct answer is option B, speedy moisture meter. Next question, Hygroscopic salts mostly contains salts of DAS and DAS. Option A sulfate and magnesia. Option B nitrates and chloride. Option C chloride and sulfates. Option D nitrates and chlorides. So the correct answer is option B nitrates and chlorides. Next question. The holes are drilled at DAS in chemical injection to compact rising dampness. Option A 200 to 350 mm, Option B 300 to 350 mm, Option C 100 to 150 mm, Option D 150 to 200 mm. So the correct answer is Option C 100 to 150 mm. Next question, which of the following is considered as the short term solution for condensation? Option A, chemical treatment. Option B, epoxy injection. Option C, fungicidal vases. Option D, ventilation. So the correct answer is option C, fungicidal vases. Next question, at which level of structure the DPC is to be laid. Option A, sill level. Option B, plinth level. Option C, lindel level. Option D, basement level. So the correct answer is option B, plinth level. Which of the following mix ratio is commonly adopted for laying DPC? Option A, M25. Option B, M30. Option C, M15. Option D, M10. So the correct answer is option C, M15. Next question, which of the following thickness is commonly adapted for laying DPC? Option A 15 mm, Option B 30 mm, Option C 12 mm, Option D 25 mm. So the correct answer is Option D 25 mm. Next question, in which of the following area the vertical DPC is adapted? Option A portico, Option B balconies, Option C window and doors, Option D parapet. So the correct answer is option C windows and doors. Again we will see next video. Thank you.